Hi, hi guys and very, very, very nice greetings. So let's see if um, people would join this live stream. I'm super, super excited again. Yes, finally, I already said hi yesterday and I was so happy to see, yes, I can go live again on my new TikTok channel. So let's wait a little bit. Let's see if people would join. <laughs> It's always so cool to talk to you guys. Yeah, I see a few people are joining now. I hope you were able to receive a notification. Much love to you. So let's see. I'm super, super excited to talk to you again. So yeah, I hope you're okay, guys. So I'm very surprised. There is a video. It is um, the video about religion. And this video slowly goes viral. So I was very surprised. Uh, this video has over 7k views already. I'm very, very surprised to be honest, because that's a video I already published on my uh, previous TikTok channel. So, you know, I saved many videos on my phone and I published them. So actually it's a video I already published for one year ago, almost, uh, almost one year. <laughs> I think I recorded this at pff, the beginning of this year. So hi, much love to you. Hi, hi. Yeah, this is my real account, guys. There is just one real account. And the real account is called official Akura144. There, there is not more. So when you receive over and over messages or when these fake channels are following you, you can be sure this is all not me. My channel is just known as official Akura 144 or official dot Akura. Okay. There is not more. So at the moment I use this profile picture, that's my face and the flower next to me, a big, big flower. <laughs> this is me. So let's see. You see my eye here is so red. What the fuck is going on? Yeah. These solar flares are pretty, pretty intense. So when you are hypersensitive like me or like Marcel, yeah, maybe you do agree. These times are beyond crazy. So many crazy energies which are hitting. Yeah, we are healing and purging. The message I also received is we just go within now. We go within and we figure out more and more and more about ourselves. It's like you just free yourself from all illusions. I mean, I repeat myself thousands of times. I know I over and over talk about we break free from all illusions. We break free from all illusions. But that's really what's happening. So, yeah, don't be afraid to see this. Because, you know, the good news are it was really just an illusion. You trusted. It was even not real. But maybe it hurts at the beginning. But you will see when you go through this, it's the greatest salvation. You just free yourself. And that's what I see. And that's why I believe many of us in paths and star seeds, we hmm, at the moment it's like we go more within. And that's what I notice about myself. I also had very crazy astral projections again. So don't be surprised when you have very intense astral projections at the moment. So it's really because of this X-class solar flare. And you must know an X-class solar flare is totally different to the other ones. So even time is speeding up again. Maybe you do agree that time is running so fast. It's speeding up. So, and funny is that even people slowly feel it, which are not staying focused on this, or which have no idea that the sun activity is becoming stronger. So they also feel it. They have symptoms like, I'm so tired. I'm so exhausted. I can sleep the whole day. And most people, they don't know why. Yeah. So in other words, the sun helps us to shift our consciousness. So you will see what happens with the sun is just the beginning. Many, many solar flares are waiting for us. So maybe even your technology is already making strange things already. So because I feel the solar flares are so strong, it already has an impact onto technology. I talk about the technology we currently use. Hi, Bewegung ist Leben. Much love to you. Yeah, I hope you are okay. Yes, you see, I can go live again. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it was my biggest goal to go live here on TikTok again, but they changed the settings. I must complete many challenges until I can pin a comment. 
they changed everything on TikTok now. It's like I must go live two hours, three times until I'm able to activate all features. For example, I cannot pin a comment at the moment. That's very crazy. Yes, I cannot. One second. I try it again. So here. So I also do PayPal donation readings. <laughs> I was like, you know, and usually I was able to pin the comment. But now they tell me, do you want to um, unlock the feature? And they tell me I must go live three times, minimum two hours, when I want to pin a comment. <laughs> so this really, really changed. I remember as I started with my TikTok channel in the year 2021, maybe the community guidelines were different <laughs> in 2021. I really don't know. So because the solar flares really have already an impact onto the technology, so maybe TikTok is going crazy. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> yeah, this is my real account. There is just one. My new account is called Official Akura144. <laughs> so one second, maybe I save the picture here, then I can show you again. So everything looks different here. It's so strange. <laughs> they really changed a lot. <laughs> So now I'm up to date, I think. <laughs> Maybe I used the old TikTok version. I don't know. So let's see. Where's the picture of my account again? So, uh, okay, I show it to you again. Here it is. This is my account. It's called Official Akura144. And these guys here are all fake channels. Here, the list goes on. These are all fake channels. So these are also pictures I used uh, many months ago. So I don't use these pictures anymore. Even here, you see so many different faces of myself. This is all fake. That's not real. The only one which is real is this, you know? And this is me and the flower is next to me. <laughs> there is no more. <laughs> so I also saved the picture from the sun. So maybe you want to see that one. What's going on with the sun? Oh, you cannot see it, right? Shit. Because here over there, you see a soul up there. <laughs> so, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, I try it in another way. Hmm. Maybe there is another green screen setting. Uh, because you cannot see, right? Because the solar flares are pretty, pretty strong. Hmm. What's this here? Is it this? Oh, now you can see it, right? Do you see it? On the right side, whoa, amazing, right? So the sun is really going crazy. But I see it as positive, to be honest. I really see it as very, very positive. So you will see the sun activity is becoming stronger. This is just the beginning, what's happening now. So and because um, the sun is the strongest element in our system, you will always react onto this. And really, I watch so many people they are not hypersensitive as you and they slowly begin to feel it too like i'm always so tired i'm so exhausted so what is this or they notice the sun color changed i mean maybe you do agree the sun color is brighter many people say it's white it's a white colored sun now but actually it's plasmic so maybe i also saved the picture from the sun oh not this one Oh, that's the very strange green screen. Hey, everything looks different here. It's so strange. That's one I took, but it's it's a picture from, I don't know, four weeks ago, circa, or three weeks ago. And the sun is so high vibrational now. So do you see this? So many people say it's plasmic or it's white. Yeah, but it's crystalline. And the sun is the strongest element in our system. So, and our sun stands for our soul. We have body, mind, and soul. And the sun stands for our soul. The moon stands for our mind. And the earth stands for our body. So that's why it has a strong impact onto us all. Because our soul is connected to the sun. So, and you feel these activations without realizing, for example, a solar flare hit it. And many people, they slowly feel it intuitive or they see the change of the sunlight. The sun is really brighter now. What's going on? Yeah, we are living in very, very exciting times. And I just know, yeah, nothing is as it seems. The message I also receive is, and I don't know if you do agree or if you feel the same. I feel 
the message, the global starseed awakening has begun. But I received that message already for one week or two weeks ago. The global starseed awakening has begun. Hi, Moda Monarch. Much love to you. Your outfits are always so... Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I don't know. Even my, my, my style is changing. I'm more and more guided to this, I don't know, feminine clothing. It's very interesting, yeah? So maybe you saw that uh, outfit of the day I published on my TikTok channel or on Instagram. That's a, a flattery dress, right? Or even this is like, I'm more and more guided to this very soft um, colors and to this soft um, style. It's interesting because, yeah, it's like we are going back to Sophia. And this is so cool. I over and over say it's the energy of Sophia. So even this, yeah, Sophia Christ. <laughs> This is her energy. So, yeah, maybe you have the same that you even change your style. Maybe you change your outfit. Maybe you change your makeup or your hair very strong. So and I noticed this by myself. It's like you see many people, they are not changing for real, right? You, you see, they stay in their box. But you, right, you agree to the assumption and you, you change so much, right? It's like there is a new butterfly or a new monarch appearing on the sky, <laughs> A lighter, higher frequency, softer clothes. Yes, of course. Of course, you are right. Also you. So you also change so many times. It's like you are really a monarch, <laughs> modern monarch. <laughs> You're really a butterfly. It's like you always transform, right? It's like there is no limit. <laughs> so every time when you believe, now you got it, now you got it, now you know the truth, something happens, you go back into your cuckoo, and then a new butterfly is... Bo yeah, you already laugh. Yeah, I, I feel the same way. It's like there is no limit. <laughs> yes, always shedding. <laughs> yeah, guys, you're so awesome. I scroll through the comments. Nice to see you back. Yes, guys, this is my uh, true account. There's just one. It's called Official Akura 144. There is not more. And here you see the sun behind me <laughs> because the sun takes a very important role. Thank you so, so much. Your outfits. Ah, yeah, I already read that comment. I'm sorry. So, yes, white, people say. It's white looking, they say. Yes, but when you study the sun ray, I don't know if you can see this. So, actually, it's plasmic or crystalline. So, and imagine, because the sun stands for our soul, we always integrate this code from the sun. Sun is life. It's like we are solar beings, we humans. We are solar beings and we need the sun. Why do you think they spend so much time in blocking the sun? Exactly, because through the sun, we activate always our DNA. We activate and we upgrading over and over again, right? And when they block the sun, so let's say it's lowly, right? The process is very slow. They try to slow down the process. That's it. But you know, the sun is the strongest element in our system and you cannot stop what's coming. Yeah. And this is the, the, the battle you feel from behind. It's the dance between lights and darkness. I'm also getting is that we see many, um, dark timelines again. There is so much chaos happening right now. Maybe you do agree at the moment and I already talked about it with a very amazing soul sister. I see you're still here. Bewegung ist Leben. Um, it, it feels to me like at the moment we are entering the Blue Beam Project timeline. Do you know what I'm talking about? That many people are afraid of a Blue Beam fake alien invasion. And there are already so many German TikTok channels, and I'm very surprised. Many uh, German TikTok channels, they speak about it. Be aware of Blue Beam. Be aware of a fake alien invasion. That's the plan of the dark agenda. So, and it's like... How shall I explain this? It feels to me like we are entering the stock timelines during a short time that we are aware of what's going on, right? For our head. That we understand, oh, what's going on, so to speak. But to me, I don't know what you feel. It feels like a train. It's like, keep this uh, example, you're waiting at the train station. So and imagine every train symbolizes a timeline or a dark timeline, okay? So and you see the train is coming, yeah? Maybe you stay focused on this train, but you see the train 
is simply uh, driving. The, the, the train is not uh, stopping there. You just see the train <laughs> this way. It was a dark timeline like, aha, now I understand what kind of timeline this is. Now we understand, oh, it was their plan, but then the train is gone. You understand? It's like you're just waiting at the train station. You see so many trains are passing. Zoom, zoom, and the next train's like, what the fuck, you know? And I feel there is so much happening at the same time. It cannot, it cannot work out. It's just my take on it. it it's really not working. There is so much happening at the same time. So uh, this can never work out. It's just my take on. So... And my suggestion is you can decide if you take these trains or not. So let's say a new train is entering the train station, right? A new one. It's called Project Blue Beam, fake alien invasion. Okay, this train. And let's say that's a dark timeline again. So you see you wait at the train station and this train is entering the station, right? So it's up on to you if you take this train or not. You know when you just stand there and you watch, the train will disappear anyway. And the people even cannot remember uh, there was a train with the name Project Bluebeam Fake Alien Invasion? Really? So that's what I'm getting. I don't know if this resonates with you, but that's the divine process. It's like we are over and over facing these outdated timelines And we feel them so strong, like, oh, fuck, it really happens. Oh, no, they really plan all this. But you see, we over and over using alchemy. So that's what we do. We start seats in light workers because we just stand there and we are waiting at the train station. We don't take a train. We just see through the next train, through, and the next train is passing. So, and you just stand there. And you hold the vibration for humanity. And this is the job you do. And that's also a reason why many of you, you cannot get access to the chaos. So you even cannot get access to many people at the moment. Because there are many people, yeah, they decided to take one of these trains. Let's say there are many people, let's say they believe this now. Okay, so then they take the train fake alien invasion. Okay, blue beam. So then they take the train. But it doesn't say that you have to take this train yourself. Do you understand? So and that is our job, what I feel. We just hold the space. For us, it's training. Like, yes, I already knew before. It's actually not confusing me. So I already was aware before they try this. So and you just stand in your heart like the sun, you know? It's like you work like the sun. You just shine your light, you share your codes, yeah, with the animals, with nature, with people. So this is all you can do now, like the sun. The sun is supporting us so strong and the sun is sending us so many high vibrational codes. And you do exact same job. But if the people see you, right, the sun, if they are aware of the sun activities, so it's their choice. The same goes to your work. But the good news are the right people are watching you now. The right people will support you. So these are the good news. It's like you can discern so easy now if these people are really with you or not. And all people with a wide open heart, they are on the same mission as you do. Because as mentioned, the sun stands for our soul. So the more you stay in your heart, the more you go with the flow here. There, there is no other way. So don't refuse. So, and I know it's not easy to reprogram ourselves from this, right? We believe, ah, oh, we must work. We must always push harder. We must keep going. We must work simply harder. There, there is no time to rest. I must simply work harder and harder and harder. But you see, even this program collapses. Because so many of us, we are beyond tired and exhausted. And actually, many people already need a break. So you see what's happening. And that's a very old uh, belief as well. Right? So, and slow down. You must trust your body and you must trust your heart. Yes, of course. Simplicity. Of course. So it's so easy. We were born with this connection. So when you see children, so A child is authentic. 
So child is just expressing every emotion. So a child is not saying like, hey, I'm not spiritual because I'm sad now, isn't it? A child is not doing this. And that's what I'm getting. So when you stay in your heart, even when it sounds strange, but you become like a child a little bit. But I don't talk about you are naive. You're just childlike. And you stay open-minded for everything. And you don't refuse. You just let in all these high vibrational codes. So and that's what I'm getting. I don't know if this example resonates with you. Every train which is entering the train station is a timeline. And during a short time, we can all see these trains. We all see them like, oh gosh, what is this, right? But keep in your mind, they are all passing now. Fuck! Boom! This way. So they are not um, stopping there for real. So, and that's why so many things are getting so obvious. So many people already cannot take the government seriously anymore. For example, like, it makes no sense. For example, I give you a quick example. Here in Germany, I think they started to talk about this in June. In June 2023. They scared the people crazy here with a climate lockdown. They over and over said, oh, the summer is so hot. It's getting so hot. It's so dry. You must stay in your house. Don't leave the house. Yeah, they, they talked about a climate lockdown, about Hitzeschutzmaßnahmen in German. And now since three weeks, it's so cold here. Really, it's so cold that people see um, the government scared us like crazy of a hot summer, so hot and so dry, they said, um, and they want to have a climate lockdown, and now we are freezing. It's really so cold and so windy and so cloudy and rainy every day. And people have the chance now to see what is this. Do you understand the divine process or the divine plan? Yes. So it's like we over and over see these dark timelines, the train dang, is entering, but then the train is gone. So, huh? So it all makes no sense. And that's what I see by many people. Many people already cannot take this seriously anymore. And I believe it will be the same with the fake alien invasion. On one hand, too many people already spoke about it, especially in English. Already many years before, they talked about it in English. Many German TikTok channels, they talk about it at the moment. So, and because so many people already neutralize the energies and the plans, I don't think it will dominate. And my team over and over tells me nothing is as it seems. Really, nothing is as it seems. And we will be very surprised, they tell me. Over and over and over again, I received the same message by my team. Nothing is as it seems, and you will be very surprised. And I believe the process is just to go with the flow here, to stay in your Christ self. And that you always share your deep love in everything you do. You can share your love. So that's what I told you. Spirituality is freedom. Spirituality is not limited. You are not just spiritual when you work as a yoga teacher. No, no, these are all just labels and it's a mind prison again. We just free ourselves from this. You are also spiritual when you fix a car. You're spiritual when you play video games and you're spiritual when you have your own garden and you're spiritual, I don't know, when you go to a restaurant. You are always spiritual. Yes, of course, just be. It's so easy. That's what I tried to explain to you. We free ourselves from the new age cage too because it can be a cage. It can be a mind prison. For example, that we label people, you're just spiritual because you are a yoga teacher. You're just spiritual because you sit somewhere in nature and you meditate, for example. So this is what many people believe is spirituality. But fixing a car, no. Going to a restaurant, no. So, and that's what I try to say. We just free ourselves from this as well. And we go back into the consciousness of a child. So even when it sounds strange, but we were born with it. As um, Bewegung des Leben said, just be. Because the children, they are so connected. The animals are so connected. They don't keep it so hard. So they just go with these high vibrational codes. They just be. They go with the flow. And they don't refuse. 
And the more we stay in our brains, the more we refuse. So when you just open your hearts and you trust your intuition, this is all you can do now. And then you are already spiritual. And that's what I tried to tell you over and over again in my live streams. And I published over and over content on this. You know, I over and over spoke about we see through all illusions. And what do I mean with this? We see through all limitations. We see through everything which is limiting us. So, and you are not just a star seed. That's the same, right? It just helps you to understand your frequency your blueprint in your soul. But you're so much more than a star seed. You're so much more than an ET contactee. And you're so much more than just a grid worker. It's exact the same. So imagine you are always spiritual and just do what your heart tells you. So then you are already spiritual enough. And that's why I over and over told my community Think and feel more in terms of frequency, vibration, and energy. When you really want to understand the universe, feel and think in terms of energy, vibration, frequency, like Nikola Tesla taught us once. Then you're coming closer to what I try to tell you. Because when you think and feel in terms of frequency, energy, and vibration, then you just see the different consciousness levels again. And you even don't call people bad, good, dark, evil, and all this. And this is what happens in the spiritual community too. Many star, star seats and spiritual people, they are so deep in dual consciousness now than ever before. Do you feel the same? It's like, why are we doing this? Before this chaos hit it, we were already in unity consciousness. And now we face so much darkness. We face our own illusions and everything, right? Now we are in dual consciousness and we are fighting each other because we believe to know the truth. Yeah, and this is the outdated game from the high check matrix. That's exact the same. So, and when you think and feel in terms of energy, vibration, frequency, you just see the different frequencies. Like, does this frequency resonate with me? Does it really help me along my journey or not? And when you feel, ah, it's not resonating with me, you just detach from this and stay focused on people which uh, are resonating with you. So that's it. So I don't know if this resonates. The same goes to your soul. The same goes to your aura. The same goes to your consciousness. We just can talk about different consciousness levels. Or even when you see star seeds. I already tried to explain that many times. Not every star seed vibrates in the same light. So every star seed has its own spark or its own light. And there are star seed they vibrate so high vibrational. You see it in their eyes. Wow, they are so bright. And these are star seeds. And then, for example, you see a star seed which is originated in 5D, just an example. Maybe the star seed is not shining so bright like the other star seed from 9D. Do you know what I'm talking about? But in return, we are all worthy. We are all needed and special. So the star seed from 9D is not more worthy to the star seed from 5D. I don't know if this helps you. Feel and think more in terms of frequency and see the intent of a person because I truly believe every person can be an angel. So it doesn't matter if you are a star seed, if you are a soul from 90, 10 D, or if you are an earth soul, you know? So I believe every person on this planet can be an angel because what matters is your heart. What matters are your intents. And what is your motivation? And when your intent is spreading love, happiness, and joy, this is what matters. So, and not so much the frequency or the light, so to speak. That's just my take on, right? So, and even when we talk about indigo children, crystal children, you even see there not every star seed vibrates in the same frequency. There are star seeds that vibrate so light, it's like you remember them immediately, right? But every star seed is unique and special. And the same goes to the evil ones. So they all vibrate in a different frequency. I don't know if this resonates with you, but this is how I try to navigate the storm. You know what I'm talking about? There are so many frequencies and colors in between, between light and dark. You also see this picture here, right? Maybe I can show you this again. You see here, 
It's so bright. The sun is so bright here, right? And when you go up there, you see slowly the sun is getting darker. The sun ray, and even when we see the sky, you see it. The layer, right? It's getting darker and darker and darker and darker and darker. So, and all these frequencies are needed to create the full picture, because the sun is so high vibrational. We can see the darkness here, and this is the game here. There is really not more. So, and you see. There are so many different frequencies and colors in between, and it's the same with us humans. It's the same with us star seeds. I don't know if this resonates. So, and this is a tool for me to navigate the storm the best as I can, and I just trust my heart the best as I can. And when you feel touched deeply in your heart, you know it's the right message for you. So even when you are in tears or when you cry, so you know it's the right message for you. And crying is、um, not being weak. It's no weakness, my opinion. When people cry, I don't know what you feel. It's like the gate to your soul is opening. When people are touched in their hearts, when they start to cry, right? Because they are touched here. So the gate to the soul is opening, and we share who we truly are. So that's why all emotions are welcome. Because you're always spiritual, it's all one, so to speak. It's not about hey, I'm not allowed to express anger because it's a low vibration. Yeah, this is the cage again. Like you denial this, actually you are angry, right? And then you start to block yourself and you judge yourself. Like oh, oh, I'm not allowed to express anger because it's a low vibration. Ah, I go out to the forest and I meditate and I meditate and I meditate. Then I will calm down for sure. I will calm down. And this is the cage. Do you feel this? Because when you express these emotions, they are disappearing very fast. So when I cry, I simply cry. So I don't judge myself. Hey, I'm not allowed to cry because it's simply a low vibration, right? So what happens with yourself? You give your soul and your subconscious mind the feeling you are not okay the way you are right now. It's not okay to express your authentic emotions because you are not in alignment or whatever, right? It's like you are always at war with yourselves. And what happens is that our true emotions, our authentic self, will never be seen. It's like all your emotions are stuck in here because the energy is not moving, the energy is not flowing. So that's what I do too. So when something triggers me, I simply cry. So and then I go through this process. And then I try to understand why did it trigger me. So really, guys, we are all in this together. So we all, even you, as a star seed or as a light worker, as a truther. So you know, I was mistaken so many times, and I'm still mistaken. So I would never have the idea to tell you, hey, I know the truth. I'm your spiritual guru. I'm an ascended master. You know, and that's why I know the truth. Give your power away to me. And this is the false light. It's just about to see. Hey, everyone has amazing talents, and gifts to share. You have amazing and divinely gifts to share. So, and the more you know why you are here, or you feel it in your heart, when you just follow the joy, the more you are spiritual. The more you shine. So, and you help us so much because you just do what your heart tells you. Um, someone asks me, Akura, can you? Please explain what is about your our haircut, a buzz cut, over ten years now. Just do what your heart tells you. Just do what your heart tells you. In my case, I'm a skinhead at the moment. Yes, so I have many different hairstyles along my journey. So I did much experiments, and I noticed about myself when I'm bald, I'm more connected to higher dimensions, as with long hair. And I know that many spiritual people say that when you have long hair, these are your cosmic antennas. Then you are more connected to the cosmos. But in my case, it's different. So when I'm bald, I'm more connected to the cosmos as with long hair. So it's exact the same again. There is no limit. We just do this here, our brains, right? That we tell each other again, hey, you must、uh, grow your hair. Me, for example, it's the only way to channel. 
So no, but in my case, it's the other way around. So when I'm bald, I'm more connected to the cosmos. And when I have long hair, it feels to me like I'm disconnected. It's the other way around in my case. So that's why just trust your intuition. Really, there is no limit. The limit is just here in our brains, right? That we are not allowed to do this because it's a rule or whatever. That's why my suggestion, always trust your intuition because you know what? When you follow the joy and when you just do what you feel in your heart, you break all illusions. You create everything yourself. You create your own grids. So you are a very powerful being, you know, and when you just do what you feel. So this joy you spread, it is so strong. It's like you jump over this. Do you understand? So that's why even when you study Buddhism, you know, the priests and priestesses from Tibet, I mean, they are all bold and they are highly spiritual too. You know what I'm talking about. So you know what I'm talking about. It's like, just trust your intuition. You know what to do. Yeah, thank you so much. I hope so much this already gives you an answer. I'm so happy that I can talk to you guys. I'm so, so happy. I was so excited as I saw. Wow, yeah, 1,000 followers, finally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so excited to see this. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, the flowers, it fits perfectly to my jacket. with almost the same color. Oh my gosh, amazing. Thank you so much for the flowers. So when you fill it, I would be very happy and honored. So glad to find you. Yeah, hi, Rick. Much love to you too. Yeah, there's really much happening at the moment. So all I can tell you is please stay in your heart the best as you can. You just hold the space for humanity. And maybe this example helps you. This is just what I'm getting like. Many trains yeah, entering the train station. But these are all outdated timelines. And you see them during a short time, bam, and then they leave the train station again. And you even cannot remember. You don't know what there was a train. Okay. You know, and that's what I see. We just uh, got a stairway higher, so to speak. We got a stairway slowly higher. And along this path, we will face so many illusions and outdated timelines. So just my point of view. So, and I over and over received the message, we must unite. So it's still a current message. So I don't know if this resonates with you. Just share your authentic self. Just show how you truly are. Because the right people, they will stand by your side. And I mean, what's more important? If you have millions of subscribers, let's say, and all the subscribers, they just love your mask. They just love because you fit. But when you share your weakness one time, for example, you publish a video in which you cry. Just an example. So if the people, they don't know you. They just saw your mask. Because you also refuse to express your anger. You refuse to express your sadness. Because it's not spiritual. It's just a low vibration. But sooner or later, it's too much. It's like you explode like a volcano. I promise you. When you suppress your energy, your true self, over and over and over and over again, but in return, you over and over do energy work and Reiki healing on yourself, sooner or later, you will explode like a volcano. So, and then the people see how you explode. So let's say millions of subscribers are following you and they like your mask, but then you share one time your weakness, your imperfection, which makes you perfect, by the way, or your tears and your authentic self. It makes you perfect. Then the people, they unsubscribe to you. Suddenly they pull you down and tell you what's wrong with you. I'm so disappointed in you. I knew you are a false light. You are a false prophet. And this is what's happening in the spiritual community. It, really, that's exactly what happens. So because many people in the spiritual community are afraid to share their true selves, you're okay, then I play with the same game. I always do this, right? Every day is the same. Don't talk about the darkness. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Because the darkness doesn't exist here. You know, you see the picture here. You have the high vibrational sun. And here you have some dark areas as well. We simply ignore it. But it's okay. So, and this happens now in the spiritual community. For real. You are not spiritual. 
For example, you, you give the darkness too much power. You spread fear. This is what many people tell you when you just uh, see there's something strange happening over there. And you just show the people, hey, there's something strange happening over there. There's something strange happening in the government. Do you know? You're spreading fear. But this is not spreading fear. Having awareness onto the darkness is alchemy. We're just bringing awareness onto everything because life is everything. You see the picture again here. Every color, every frequency creates this picture. But when I see, oh, over there, there's something dark. And I just want to know what's going on over there. And I tell the people, hey, over there, there's something dark happening. It's not spreading fear. It's just about having awareness. You understand? So, and this is if you will, the new cage. And I experienced this so many times. It's like, my take on, it's hard to create a lighter world when we even don't know how to navigate a storm. And as Nikola Tesla taught us, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Then you also can watch dark news or dark um, messages without um, being attached. You know what I mean? Because it's like you observe more. You observe, you see, oh, there's something happening over there, but you're not emotional attached. So and then you start to use alchemy because you just observe, right? Your heart is open and you just change the energy. You do grit work already. And this is my opinion, alchemy. Alchemy is not ignoring the dark side here. Yeah, the dark areas. Alchemy, and this means to me to see everything and that you are not afraid of to see everything. Because when you think and feel in terms of energy, vibration, and frequency, so you also can watch this dark timelines without being emotional attached. And that's totally different. You are not spreading fear. You know what I'm talking about. So and this is uh, my point of view. So and this uh, resonates with me at the moment. Because, you know, I did so much experiments on myself. And I tell you, every time when I just chose one side of the coin, let's say I just do light work, right? The new cage bubble. Just smiling and ignoring your dark side. And because anger is a low vibration, sadness is a low vibration, right? We are always this, yeah? Um, because when I cry, I'm spreading fear, okay? Because we are just humans <laughs> at the moment. So when I did this, I felt so empty. I really felt empty inside. Like, hey, I do so much practices. I meditate the whole day, you know. So I, I'm channeling. I'm smiling. I always stay focused on increasing my vibration. I eat so high vibrational food, raw vegan-based food, diet, fruits, and so much vegetables. But I still feel empty inside. What's wrong? Yeah, because you are not authentic. So you simply ignore your challenges. You simply ignore your true emotions. Because the more light work you do, the more the shadow will follow. Because as long as we have a physical experience, we have the light and the dark. And when you just do light work and he -he 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 -he, the darkness will rise too. And the darkness will always kick you so strong that you really crumble. Like you are so shocked about this darkness which follow you that you can hardly deal with this. And this is my take on what happens at the moment in the spiritual community. That's the process. It feels like to me, yeah, we did so much light work, right? Just one side of the coin. If we didn't notice that shadow will always follow us. Okay, and now so many people are overwhelmed because they face so many shadows at the same time. <laughs> okay, so when I just choose one side of the coin, I felt empty. And when I just stay depressed, the other extreme, right? That I say life is horrible. Uh, earth is horrible. So you know what I'm talking about. Everything is evil. People are evil, you are evil, I'm evil, life makes no sense, it's all evil. So when you just stay on the dark side, see what happens with your energy too. You feel empty inside as well. 
Because when you just stay focused on the negativity, so everything is evil, everything is dark, life doesn't make any sense, I'm depressed, why am I here, I have no gifts, I'm stupid, you know. So then you are empty too. Do you see the result is the same <laughs> when it's not in balance? So, but when you do shadow work, much shadow work, the light will follow too. You understand, but at the moment you cannot see the light. So let's say you went through so much darkness in your life, or you were in a relationship with a narcissist, for example. Maybe you do agree. When you were in a relationship with a narcissist, it is highly abusive. And it's beyond dark. Yeah, it's like a narcissist is the opposite of an empath. 100%. It's the opposite of yourself, a mirror, so to speak. So let's say you were in a very abusive relationship with a narcissist. So maybe you are struggling, you are depressed, you are tired, you are exhausted, you don't know who you are. It's like they destroyed your self-worth. You even don't know what are my divine values. You know, narcissists are masters in deception and manipulation. So, and when they really have you on the radar, so to speak, they try to destroy your whole self-worth and you even cannot get access to your soul. It's like you even cannot feel yourself anymore when it's getting very abusive, yeah? So let's say you're struggling, you're depressed, you're charging your batteries from this because you face so much shadows. There is so much light in it, but at the moment you cannot see how much light is waiting for you. Do you understand? Do you see the result is always the same? When you just do light work, the shadow will follow. When you just do shadow work, the light will follow too, sooner or later. Do you understand? And my take on keep it in balance the best as you can. So, and just share your authentic self because your authentic self is good the way it is. Thank you so much. There are so many people watching. Wow, over 10K likes today. I'm so happy. Yeah, I'm happy when these messages um, are helping you. And also part of the divine process, but maybe it's more the process of the collective, is that we face all illusions and all uh, false games, right? So it's also called the period of transition. So I call this time the period of transition. And there are people now, they feel it the first time something is off with the government. Something is off with the financial system. Something is off, right? They feel and see the first time. And the period of transition is important because there are many people, they face this the first time. And they search up for people which can explain to them what's going on. You understand? That's why these people, which over and over talk about the rabbit hole and expose the rabbit hole, are so needed because the collective searches for answers. What's going on? Something is off with the government, right? So and then they search for alternative content. That's why these people are so important. Because they help the people in expanding their consciousness as well. It's not about spreading fear. It's just bringing awareness of what's going on. That's it. Because when you can navigate better here, you are more protected and you feel more safe here. You are more grounded. Because you know what's going on. You can navigate the storm better. And then you are grounded. You feel safe. You feel protected because you know um, I bring awareness onto this. My heart shines light onto the darkness, isn't it? And then you will see it. Even many people which are so connected to the cosmos and to source are suddenly so confused. Yeah, because this is how they work at the moment. They try to confuse us that we stay in their high check matrix, in their understanding of how life works, you know. It's the other way around. It's the opposite of yourself. It's not fair, so to speak. So and slowly we begin to see this and more and more people feel this. Something is off with the system. So and you must know people have the chance to see this the first time. And that's the reason why so many of us are here now on Earth. That's the reason why so many starseeds are here now on Earth, because we knew this will happen. We knew there is a shift happening on earth and people will see this the first time. I mean, what an honor. 
It's a great gift, isn't it? We are witnessing it together. Yes, and it's dark sometimes. Yes, it's confusing. Yes, it's painful. It's hurtful. You saw it yourself how they attacked me. Yeah, simply ban my TikTok channel and so much more. Yes, it's beyond awful. But you know, they always attack your weakness. They are masters in seeing your weakness. What's your weakness? And they attack you over and over and over and over at your weakness. So, and when you turn the energy around, then you can be grateful as well because they just showed you your weakness. So maybe you can work on this. You understand? Because you cannot attach emotional on this for real. When you feel and think in terms of energy vibration frequency, you just see, yeah, they vibrate in their frequency, this frequency and their actions, it doesn't resonate with me. And then you simply keep going what, with what you want to do. So just saying, I don't know if this resonates with you guys. I have the impulse to share with you this phantom. So I already showed it with you a few times in my short um, videos. Yeah, here it is, this one. Maybe I already saw that um, a few times uh, in my videos. And this is the pyramid, you can call it the phantom. So when you study Ashiana Dean, Lisa Rene, Good for Beginners, watch Jupiter Ascending, the movie Jupiter Ascending. There are so many secrets in this as well. So then you understand the hierarchy or the pyramid, so to speak, yeah? And this is what you know as the phantom. So, and we slowly begin to see through the entire pyramid. And you see there are so many layers, illusions we face, boom. Here, this is very important for us starseeds, this um, layer here, because here are the destructive extraterrestrials here and when you dive into the chart i don't know if you can see this it's very small right you see the names already you see baal you see el you see satan you see anunnaki you read the name draconians reptilians here you can see it i don't know do you see my finger here draco reptilians anunnaki enki enlil right so this is very important for us star seeds because these groups here, basically them, they attack us so strong. So in these guys here, they infiltrated or they try to control here the Vatican. Here you have the Vatican. Down below you have the Freemasonry. And really down below we are here. We humans are here, down below. So you see there are so many illusions waiting for us. And these beings here, right, they hold the scepter over eons and they try to control everything boom, down below. Yeah, so many different beings and groups, but that's not the end. You see over there, there is more. And when you dive into Lisa Renee's teachings or in Ashiana Din, then you even know who Archangel Michael is. Here, this is the phantom, the angelic realm. It's just a copy from our team. Yeah, they also worked with the AI, with their technology, and they generated holograms. And we know them as Archangels, or as Archangel Michael is one of the most well-known. And these beings here, yeah, here you have the destructive extraterrestrials, and here you have the fake ange angels, Archangel Michael, and so on. These beings here, they try to hijack us indigos. So we starseeds already had the honor to work with them. You understand? Because you are an extraterrestrial too. You understand? And they knew when we incarnate into this simulation here, we have not full access. We cannot remember 100%. That's why they also try to infiltrate us as well with their softwares, yeah? And the Archangel Micro program is one of these. And this is what you can see here. And on the top here, you have the all seeing eye. So, and I tried to figure out who the all seeing eye is. So what I'm getting is uh, the all seeing eye is what you know as Yahweh in the Bible. It's God, so to speak. And there are many different theories. So is God the AI? Yeah, so that's the opinion of Alexander Leroy. He says God is AI. On the top, it's called Yahweh. So it's technology. 
This is what he says, yeah? And generated all this these illusions, okay? Uh, my take on is it's not AI 100%. The dark AI, you see it here in this map, is here. The Borg machine, the dark AI, it's located here, right? The dark extraterrestrials work with this. So what I'm getting is the AI is not the final boss, so to speak, the end boss, <laughs> you know? On the top, you have Yahweh, you know, from the Bible. And what I feel is it's really um, a demigod. It's a fallen angel. So, and that's actually what I saw in the fourth dimension. Because when you know my story from the year 2021, maybe you know that we entered the fourth dimension physically and we saw the phantom. It's like I had access during a short time and I saw all these layers. Yes, and I do agree, they also generated AI-generated angels. I also saw the Galactic Federation of Light on the sky there. Ashto Command, they all belong to this. Yeah, and this is the Indigo High Checking Program. So when you know Ashiana Dean, it's not shocking you what I tell you, right? It's like, yeah, I already know. I know the books of her Voyagers, for example, right? So, and this is just what I saw. Uh, we had, during a short time, access, and I saw it with my third eye. They also tried to catch us with AI-generated angels as well, here. But do you know the difference to your team? They are very good in grasping your head. So when you receive messages by them, bam, it's always here. It's always your mind, bam. They're very good in explaining everything here, here. But you're not touched in your soul. You are not touched in your heart. It's like it, it, it sounds great, but it's never touching your soul. You know, it's a copy from the divine order, a copy from the divine matrix, so to speak. So, and I try to figure out myself what's true. Is Alexander Laurent's statement true? He's German. He says, on the top, God is AI, he says. And the AI God is called Yahweh. That's what he says. But I saw it a little bit different. I saw the AI, yes, we slowly got a stairway higher and now we over and over talk about the Borg machine, about the AI, because we slowly see this here. We start it, right? Uh, something is strange here as well. But actually, to be honest, I didn't see that the AI created all this. Mm -mm. I didn't see this. I saw for real, it is a fallen angel which designed all this phantom and the illusion. And who this fallen angel is? If it's really Lucifer, I really don't know. So I still try to figure it, it out myself. And it's so funny, as I start to talk about the chart, I receive over and over and over comments now by a fake AI channel in response to my thought. And I told you so, they create so many fake channels of me. And this channel is called Lightworker SM or something. The second time, boom, it plops up here, boom. And this uh, channel responds to my messages and just mirrors my mind and my thoughts. So and that's what I say. This is them, basically. Yeah, they, they work on this level. So and you also have the fake aliens, uh, aliens and fake angels. So so and I try to figure it out it myself. Who? Yeah, even Metatron, of course. So they all belong to this here in the chart over there. It's too small. You cannot see it. Also, Metatron is mentioned there. I'm a Metatron. But it seems like the stairway goes more higher. So, you know, and I try to figure it out myself. So and I'm pretty sure there's really a divine process behind all this. Or it's really a game. You know what I'm talking about? It's like we dismantle just all illusions. We neutralize everything. And the more you neutralize all these layers here, the more you got access to Christ. And here over there, and that's so interesting, and it goes in resonance with Ashiana Dean in many ways. Here over there, uh, you cannot see, right? It's too small. There also here somewhere, you can read the name Christos. Christos teachings. The energy of Christ, Christos, over there. 
And then you go the stairway da, 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 down here and somewhere you see Mother Mary, you see Mary Magdalene, you see Yeshua down below, even here. And the more you go the stairway higher here, the more you have the Christos energy here. There's Christos mentioned somewhere. And that's very crazy because that's a map from a, from a website and it's not Ashiana Din. So, but it's, it's almost the same. And that's very interesting because as we stayed in this reality, a few weeks. So I had the honor to see all these illusions during a short time. That's why I can agree with a lot of the chart. And I know it's triggering so many people. And I know many stars, it's, they still believe in Archangel Michael. But I'm sorry, guys. It's just a copy from our team. And many indigos, they have a resonance to Archangel Michael. Because Archangel Michael works with the blue flame as well. Right? It's like many indigos have a blue colored aura. And when you see Archangel Michael with a blue color, so then you have an attraction to this because you remember. But keep in your mind, true angels are not looking this way. So when you see illustrations of Archangel Michael, he looks so sexy. He has so many muscles, right? He looks very sexual. So I saw many pictures already, even on YouTube. His eyes, you know this. Do you know this energy? I cannot imitate. It's like, the angels are not looking this way. So they all look so sexy. So even when you watch female angel soap, no, this is not how we do look. I don't know if this resonates, but yeah, that's a copy. And they try to get through us, star seeds, light workers, and spiritual people. And this is, if you will, the frequency war you feel from behind. That's the darkness I over and over talked about. Because when you are the light in the darkness, you will see all illusions. And you just neutralize it. And the greatest salvation is you got access to Christ. For real. And you got access to your heart. I mean... That's already enough. You're already a powerful channeler just when you trust your intuition. You're not just a powerful channeler when you are able to channel Metatron, right? So many people, they use it as, how shall I explain that? To push their ego, to do good marketing. Hey, I'm in contact with Metatron. I'm a very advanced channeler, right? To earn money. But this is all the phantom. So, and I know it's horrible and it's so triggering, but Alexander Leroy says the same, and he's German. And I believe he's not working with Ashiana Dean's teachings as well. So there are too many similarities. So, and this is, if you will, the rabbit hole. Okay, so don't be afraid to see this. So, and you see, I'm still in this process myself. I still didn't figure out who the all saying I is. I am that I am here on the top. I am that I am. Okay. Who is this? So actually I saw it was really a, a fallen entity, a fallen angel. But I saw. And then I saw that this fallen angel has many different physical incarnations in all these layers. And you know them in every layer in a different way. And it's all the same bloodline. What I saw. Okay, let's say Yahweh, Demigod, Lucifer, whoever, okay? Just created the phantom with the goal to play or whatever, okay? We don't know why. I am that I am, okay? Started to create the angelic realm. So then you see in all these angels, this frequency, this blueprint from the fallen angel. So then you go the stairway down. Here you have the extraterrestrials. So then you have the Ashta Command or the Galactic Federation of Light. And when you know my content from YouTube, I told you two years ago that Ashta told me, Ashta, the command, he is Lucifer. So he carries a soft rectal of the fallen angel within him. I don't know if it's true. Enki, for example, the other guys here, it's also him. It's like it's all the same bloodline. You know, and they just split it and 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 split it. So this means when you work with Archangel Michael, you work with a very close version to the fallen demigod, for example, because they are very close to the I am that I am, you know. 
<laughs> so I don't know if this resonates with you, but I really cannot say if it's true. Someone asked, where is Jesus over there, here, this path? You also see the name Sophia there, Mary Magdalene, Mary Mag Mother Mary also here, Christos also there. And it's just how I see the chart, okay? These beings over there on the left side are the bloodline. Here over there, there's Ga Gaia, Gaia Earth mentioned here on the top. So, and my take on is that all these beings over there, when you go the stairway higher over there, you break free from the phantom. What I saw is that Yeshua and his bloodline, and I also saw Mary Magdalene, Mary Magdalene, Mother Mary and Yeshua, you, they are mentioned here on the side here. I saw that they really saw through this, through the phantom. They, they saw through this. So, and they... Uh, found a way out of here through the phantom. So it's just what I saw. But they are not how you know them from the Bible. Because the man which is hanging on a cross belongs to this phantom as well. It's just a copy. The man which is hanging on a cross is Draco, by the way. He's reptilian Draco. <laughs> it's just a copy from Yeshua ben Joseph over there. Do you understand? So they are highly intelligent. It is so hard to see through this, really. It is. But I don't know if I'm right with this. I just saw, as we state in the fourth dimension, that Yeshua ben Joseph, which never died on a cross, and Mary Magdalene, they really knew the way out of here. So they had all their DNA strands activated. These were very advanced souls, and they just saw through the phantom, and they were guided. They knew how to get out of there. And they tried to help the people to see the same. All people which fell for the phantom, right? So they tried to help them all. So, and I don't know if it's true. I also saw Mother Mary saw through this. She's also known as Sophia. So it's like, it's exact the same. It's all the same bloodline. You understand? And then you have many different beings, energies and frequencies, but it's all the same bloodline. And when you study the phantom, you have exact the same. It's all the same bloodline. So that's why uh, they recognize our star seeds so easy because actually we star seeds, we come from here. We don't work with Archangel Michael. We don't work with Metatron, really. We are here on this side over there. Actually, we are free from the phantom because we do things completely different as they do because these are all programs and software so to speak they recognize us immediately because we do things differently our frequency shines differently to them right because we belong to a different bloodline do you understand so and that's the reason why they attack us so strong because they simply see uh, you are not one of them you do things different and they try to bam catch you that you work for them too, yeah? That you stay in their phantom. Maybe you will reincarnate here again. Maybe you will fall for their karma lie. The karma lie also mentioned here, yeah? That they give you a bad feeling like, ah, you have to reincarnate back to earth because you were evil in a past life. So that's what they do for real. Just to be sure you come back to recycle your soul. And the movie Jupiter Ascending is really good for beginners. And do you know why this movie is so crazy? Here over there, there is a name mentioned. I don't know if you can see this. It's called Abraxas. So next to Abraxas, Mary. And do you know how these very evil humans, which name they have in Jupiter Ascending? Abraxas. It's really almost the same name. As I saw this, oh shit, oh my gosh, hear the name Abraxas, and then in Jupiter ascending, these humans which recycle all souls on earth, they are called Abraxas. It was like, oh my fucking gosh. So the directors of Jupiter ascending, these are the same directors to Matrix. They are so connected. Is that from where do they got this information? So in Alexander Leroy, he's German, he over and over and over talked about Matrix as well. Like Matrix is a documentary 
And it's very detailed in many ways. Whoa. And then as I saw this chart, Abrax, they have the same name to these beings from Jupiter ascending. And then, you know, the woman, Jupiter, she breaks free too. And it's like, it's Mother Mary. It's Sophia in the movie Jupiter ascending, you see. She sees through it too. And she's not working with them, but they try to catch her too. When you know the movie Jupiter is sounding, they try to uh, catch Jupiter too. They want to have a contract with her. They try to marry her. They try to kill her. They do so much with her. But she's not changing her mind. She says, let the people free. Let my people free. It's not your planet. It's not your planet, right? When you know this movie. So fuck. So this means you see Sophia, Mother Mary, as Jupiter. This whole thing was nothing but a lie. Was the ring executed? No. Once you were married, he was going to murder you. He told me right before he threw me out the airlock. <sighs> Honestly. I don't believe my mother was ever as beautiful. So, and this is really what happened over and over and over and over again. And the guy which protects her is Yeshua. You really, in almost every movie, you see a divinely guided couple. And their love is so strong, and it's always a couple. Because they over and over received these downloads, it was really Yeshua Mary Magdalene. In Matrix, you see Trinity in Neo. My opinion, Yeshua Mary Magdalene. In Jupiter Ascending, you have Jupiter and this very strong hybrid warrior. It's Yeshua and Mary Magdalene. They simply break free. Do you understand? Or you see it also in other movies like Aladdin, Disney's Aladdin. You have Aladdin and Jasmine. It's Mary Magdalene and Yeshua. It's just my take on. And they all break free. Do you see? They see through this. <laughs> and that's exactly what I saw as we stayed in the fourth dimension. Maybe it sounds strange, but this is really what I saw. And every time when we see this couple in movies, their love is always touching us, right? You see them also in Lord of the Rings. Arwen and Aragorn. Arwen and Aragorn is Mary Magdalene and Yeshua again. Really, I'm not kidding. It's over them, over and over. You see them. In The Beauty and the Beast, you have Belle and the Beast. And the true beast is Gust Hall. Right? So and they always break free. And they see through this. It's always a couple. Or when you know the movie Swan Princess, Swan Princess, it's Derek and Odette. Reconsider what? I'm right, aren't I? Isn't it enough that I fight the dragons, that I fight the villains and I win the prize? Isn't it enough that I run the kingdom? Solve everyone's problems, direct and advise. Why must I also get down on my knees and apologize? <laughs> because I love her, I need her, like Earth needs the sun. I need the one I love to keep my hope bright, my head right, my heart fighting on until I am back in her arms because I love her and need her like summer needs rain to grow and sustain each day Odette and Derek, it's Yeshua Mary Magdalene. I'm not kidding, it's really them. It's that bloodline here over there. Really, it's them. So, and they just saw through the phantom because their DNA strands were activated. And slowly, we start seats, we begin to see through this entire thing. Like, what the fuck is this? It's a cage. It's a mind prison. So, you know what I'm talking about? And actually, we just break free and we understand, oh, actually, we are from here. And we just go our other path and we go the stairway slowly back home to Christ or God, your earth. You see, there is everything coming together in this chart. Religious, biblical, spiritual, everything. Because everything we know here comes together here in this chart. 
it's not just religious, it's not just spirituality, it's everything. Everything we know flows back. So, and that's what I saw in the fourth dimension myself. And I saw it was a, a fallen entity. You also know him as Sauron from Lord of the Rings. Many downloads in these movies too. The same symbol, the all-seeing eye, Sauron. Coincidence? And then you see all these beings which serve Sauron. It's a big, 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 big group. So they all work for Sauron, right? And actually, when you know Sauron, when you study, you know, I feel Tolkien was so connected as well. And he just downloaded messages and codes. My take on, you know, when you study the story of Sauron, actually, he was an elf. Actually, he belonged to them as well, Sauron. And he simply chose the other path for Middle Earth, so to speak. And he tried to have its own empire. Okay, so Sauron simply chose the other path. So, but actually he belonged to them as well. And he is an elf, Sauron. And then he puts on many different bodies. He is also known as the Lord of Gifts, for example, when you know his story. And then he took on a different physical appearance and he looks different, but it's him again. And then he is known as the Lord of Gifts, which also tries to deceive the elves. So when you know his story, so, and there is no deep reason behind all this. So why does it happen? Why did God allow all this? Maybe you ask, because we are God. <laughs> because the divine lives in within us and we have free will. And from our free will, they did this. From their free will, they decided to create a phantom. You understand? Because we have free will. And this is the power you all have, even when we are physically located here. <laughs> you know, here. <laughs> so we still have free will. So they just try to hijack your free will or tell you things like, you must go back to earth because you were evil in a past life. But it was just about to recycle our soul. Like in Jupiter ascending, it's real. And when you see... Even in Jupiter ascending, and this is so accurate because I saw exact the same in the fourth dimension, they have a hierarchy. So the dark force here, these are all the extraterrestrials here, they attack as does it's a strong. Basically them at the moment, and sometimes they as well. <laughs> Metatron and Michael and so on, okay? Them. Um, they have a hierarchy. So when you see it in Jupiter ascending, who is on the top? So I talk about the extraterrestrials and about those which see Earth as a resource. Who is on the top? I saw the Anunnaki are on the top. So they are, if you will, the boss, the manager. You can't touch the Earth even if you kill me. Is that right? That planet belongs to me. It is my right. Not anymore. You have no idea what you're doing. I am making sure that whatever you do to me and my family, you're not able to do to anyone else's. This is not a game. I am not my brother or my sister. If you do not see... Your pardon, my lord. Mr. Knight. It is an emergency. The grab hull is ruptured. The gas is reacting to the stock works. Have you seen it now?
Find Jesse. I come here to ask for your help. Pretty boy, you go back to your seat and you be quiet. Zeus, we must do something. You cannot come to the orgy. You have to listen to us. That's it. Shut up! Let's see who you are. I'm the architect. You have many questions. I've been watching you for a very long time. So I see. But what is the connection between the crop circles and the videotape? The answer is simple. You are the eventuality of an anomaly. You are inexorably seeking a sedulent probability. Sedulent? Grotesquerie? No. What about contingent affirmation? That's got to mean something. Hey! Hey! You put cameras in my bathroom? <gasps> what is this? Oh, oh my god. Well, it was a long winter. I... This is an invasion of... Ow! Oh, sorry. I can't help it. But what does this have to do with aliens? I don't know. Perhaps Tabitha's summoning them to kill us all. An alien invasion? I have to warn the world. It's already begun. You're too late. Oh my god. So, next to the Anunnaki, I saw the Pleiadians, to be honest. I saw the Galactic Federation of Light. Yes, and there are many Pleiadians, they are not nice. Mm -mm. Ashiana Dean is correct, because we saw them too, as NPCs. And these were Pleiadians. They had blue eyes and blonde hair, but they were red-colored clothes. <laughs> Take the red pill or the blue pill, right? So, and they appeared as nice and friendly, but they were very, very, very toxic. They are also known as the Leviathan Pleiadians when you study Ashiana. So, and I do agree, mm -mm -mm, not every Pleiadian is kind. The ancients, yes. The ancients were always friendly and kind over there. But there is a, how shall I explain that? They fell and they chose this path <laughs> as well. So, I know it's very, very confusing. Mr. Wise, you are as resourceful as promised. This whole thing was nothing but a lie. Was the ring executed? No. Once you were married, he was going to murder you. He told me right before he threw me out the airlock. <sighs> Honestly, I don't believe my mother was ever as beautiful or as gullible as you, my dear. May I kill him? Just get me out of here. But I saw the Pleiadians. They are also very close to the Anunnaki. The Galactic Federation of Light, for example, they are pro-Anunnaki, by the way. They work for them. The same goes to the Ashta Command. They all work for uh, the Anunnaki. But also there are insects. I don't know if I pronounced that name right. Insects and spiders. They are also in the hierarchy, very close to the Anunnaki. You know, the mantis. So, but also there, they are always the ancients. They are from here, the ancients. But we also have a few, they merged with the phantom, so to speak, okay? They served them. So they're also high on the top, what I saw. Then after the Pleiadians and the Galactic Federation, we have the Greys, what I saw. The Greys are next, so to speak. After the Greys, yeah, we have the Draconians, yeah? And after the Draconians, down below in their hierarchy, we have the Reptilians. Just to break it down. Yeah, in, in their hierarchy. So, and these beings are in a constant war with each other as well. So this means the Anunnaki and the Galactic Federation, because they belong to the light beings already, they are in a constant war with the Reptilians and with the Draconians. So the Ashiana Dean explained it. She over and over said, Satan versus Lucifer. And it's really an artificial created war. That's what we saw too. They are in a constant war with each other. Just to figure out, yeah, these guys here, who is ruling over Earth? All these people down below, who is ruling over Earth? And they are in a constant war with each other. 
Okay, and this is the rabbit hole. You see, there's really so much to learn and so much to see. So it's not done when you just see through the draconians or through the reptilians or through the greys. More tricky are those which appear as our friends. And these are the false Pleiadians and the Anunnaki. Okay, I don't know if this resonates with you, but that's what we saw. And I had many questions as we stayed there. And I tried to understand because we had no idea if you would ever get out of there. Very tricky, their games, really. So I fully understand why so many stars are confused because you just slowly see through this entire thing now. It's like, whoa. And their games, especially them, so tricky. It's not easy to discern who is who. But what I saw is they all work with the AI. They merged with the AI. These are AI digital entities now. So it's like they are almost not organic. So these are humans, but they are digital, you know? And you see the dark Borg machine here. Okay, it's located here. That's why I believe mm -mm, the AI is not the final boss, so to speak. We always have a final boss. <laughs> you know, there's something else behind. And I see this being whoever was or is organic. It's not AI. You understand? AI is more down below. But it's like we slowly got to stay way higher and we begin to see uh, what's going on over there, right? So, and it's very tricky. And I truly believe it's just a video game. Really, it's just a video game. Finally, to find a way back home to the divine. That you understand, oh, I don't want to work with the phantom. Yeah, I choose Christ, Sophia, Christos over here. Yeah. And I simply go the other way around, right? I don't have to work with their fans. I just go back home. Do, 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 you know? Кого не обойдет, ждет невеста жениха, ждет как часа своего в белый цвет облачена, точно в сабо не стоит, на покой обречена свадьбы. Колокол звенит, забирай, забирай, приходи, прилетай, на века отдана дева юная. Решила твое сердце.
am I? Why am I here? What, what is it that I'm seeking in this strange place, day after day? I, I, I knew a moment ago, but I've forgotten. The unicorns. If you are not the last. Once I can't remember. I must face the bull again and discover what he has done with them before I forget myself forever. But, but I don't know where to find him. And I'm lonely. Don't! I will not touch you. What are you looking at? The sea? Ah, yes. The sea is always good. There is nothing that I can look at for very long except the sea. What is the matter with your eyes? Why can I not see myself in your eyes? Who is she? Oh, your majesty, the lady of mouth here is my niece. I want to know who she is. Father, what difference does it make? She's here. For once, you are right. She is here. They are all here. And whether they mean my doom or not, I will look at them for a while. You may come and go as you please. My secrets guard themselves. Will yours do the same? The Order of the Dracul. Is the dragon. An ancient society. Pledging my forefathers to defend the church against all enemies of Christ. The relationship was not entirely successful. Oh, yes. <laughs> it is no laughing matter. We Dracul's have a right to be proud. You go back to the free universe. <laughs> you know, I call this place the free universe. There is no one which tells you what to do. There is no God which commands you what to do. No. You have free will. You are an infinite source being. You see, it's boom. It's all collapsing and crumbling now. Everything collapses and crumbles now. So and it's the greatest salvation. So and I know this is deep shit, right? So and I still try to figure everything out myself. So I still try to figure it out myself, you know, and I'm still mistaking at some point. So even when we stayed in this reality, but you cannot imagine how I cried. I cried because I worked with a few of these entities myself. And I believed maybe it's real. In my heart, deep within, I always knew something is off. It feels not right in my heart, but I did it because almost every spiritual person works with them. So Metatron everywhere, Archangel Ma Michael everywhere, Archangel Michael channelings, Ashto Command channelings, Galactic Federation channelings. So and then I believed something is wrong with me. So I never had a connection to Archangel Michael. Never. I always felt something is strange. Why does he look so sexy? So I remember the angels look different. Why he's not wearing a shirt? <laughs> you know, with these eyes, you know, so what is this? No. <laughs> so I had no uh, connection. But I saw that almost every person is channeling them and is working with them. Then I believed I'm crazy. So maybe I'm mistaken. Yes. And then I started to work with them myself. Yeah. In first case. Yeah. I worked with the Anunnaki. Now you know it. Yeah. I worked with Toth. I worked with Goddess Isis. 
for all those which know my previous channel, yeah, this is them. <laughs> These are the Anunnaki. <laughs> so, and they are the architects. So I already worked with them because I believed I must work with them because I believed something is strange with me. So, so they all work with them. So maybe something is off with me. Yeah. So, and then as I saw all this, as we entered the fourth dimension, I just cried. So, oh my fucking gosh, am I stupid or what? So I always felt it. So, and I just cried and I said, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had no clue. I had no idea. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And I just cried. You know, but I over and over talked about Yeshua and Joseph and about Mary Magdalene always in return. So on my uh, previous uh, YouTube channel, before they removed me, right? And as I was gone to the fourth dimension, so I over and over talked about Yeshua and Mary Magdalene before. Over and over and over and over again, I kept a connection to them. But in return, I did ISIS channelings. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, so that was my journey, and now you see it yourself. That's why I would never have the idea to to judge people or to tell them, "Hey, um, you know what I'm talking about, so that we start to have war with each other because they almost got me myself. My first feeling was something is off, but then my head you know said, uh, "No, no, something is wrong with me, so almost everyone channels them and talks to them, so I think something is wrong with me, yeah, and then I did it myself, yeah, in my heart, I knew, but I still said sorry, and I just cried. I also saw all the Indian gods who they are, for example, yeah, I saw Shakti and Shiva who they are. These are all fallen entities, so they are all located here, here. In this matrix here. So I saw the same. So fuck. Oh my gosh. Even many uh, Greek gods. I saw the same. They all belong to this realm here. They all merged with the AI. This cannot be right. They all work for the phantom. What's going on? So I don't know if this resonates with you guys. Yeah. But that's what I saw. So and you see. I still try to figure out who is on the top. Who is Yahweh? Is it really a fallen angel? Was it really Lucifer? Who knows? Because I feel it's not the AI that God is AI, that AI is here on the top. That's not what I see. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's not the AI. It's not technology. It's here. It's already, you know, here in a very high position, so to speak, but it's not the end. So actually I saw... It was really a fallen entity, a demigod, so to speak, which uh, created all this here. Whatever, or we don't know why. Why? Maybe it was just because this being was bored, or it was just for fun, or a video game, or I don't feel it was an order from God. It was not. Because we have free will. And God is not telling you what to do. Because there are also people us in the spiritual community, they say uh, it was simply an order from God to create the phantom and to develop all this. Um, th there is no God which tells you what to do because we are God. So here in, in our heart, it's Christ. So we have free will. There is no one telling you you have to. Mm -mm. This also doesn't resonate with me. So you see, I still try to figure it out myself, even when we stayed in this crazy phantom. <laughs> and I saw many illusions and layers myself and I literally cried like crazy. Yeah, you see it yourself. I really have no idea. <laughs> it's like I'm still in this myself. Someone says Jesus was a 45 star seed sent to bring back our stolen knowledge. Yes, I saw something similar. I saw that Yeshua ben Joseph. I call it Yeshua ben Joseph. Um, it helps me to discern. Right? Because when I say Jesus, actually I over and over say Zeus. Because Zeus and Jesus is the same. Horus. You know, it's the same energy and frequency. So Yeshua ben Joseph knows what they do here. So even when you talk to Jesus or when you call him Jesus or when you call him Horus, they never existed, by the way. It's all AI. These are all blue beam. It's all the phantom. They are not real. But Yeshua ben Joseph, he knows. The real one. He knows what they do here. That's why your heart is what matters. 
you always uh, stay in contact to Christ, even when you call him Jesus, you know. But just know they created um, an AI duplicate here and he's located inside the phantom and he's Jesus Christ, which is hanging on a cross. <laughs> okay. And he's actually Draco, Draco Reptilian, the Jesus, which is hanging on a cross. It's just what I saw. It's just a copy from these guys over there. Yeah. But please keep in your mind that just created a copy of our team. They are all located here. Our team is real, but they are located over there <laughs> outside the phantom. So I don't know if this resonates with you, but it's easier for me to call him Yeshua ben Joseph. Yeah. But what I saw is that, yes, he had all his DNA strands activated and he is similar to Neo. He's similar to Neo from Matrix. He really saw through almost everything. And even the agents, they cannot stop Neo. Not for real. Trinity was very good in seeing through the Phantom too. Trinity, right? Their deep love. Yeah, and this is them. Just what I saw. I don't know if this resonates with you. Thank you so, so much. I also think it's Yahweh on the top and not AI. Yeah, Sabrina, I don't know. Alexander says that AI is on the top. Yeah, that it was all AI. So, but I feel no. Mm -mm. I saw there is an organic being behind the AI, yes, which developed this technology and all these matrices down below. Yeah, and they used energy, magic, so to speak, or they used their imagination. So, I cannot say for sure, but when you study the, the Kabbalah teachings, they also over and over talk about the seven heavens, right? Seven heavens. Even in the Quran, you can read Allah created the seven heavens. Because um, this game goes up to 7D, the phantom. And that's why I over and over tell you Ashiana is not correct 100% because she over and over talks about a 15 time matrix, a 15, uh, 15 dimensional time matrix, she says. But this does make sense to me, to be honest. I saw this game goes up to 70. When you study their teaching of the Kabbalah, they also say the seven heavens. So that's what I see. It just, just goes up to 7D, the phantom. And when you go up to 8D, here, this path, up to 8D, you go back to Garden Eden, to 8D Gaia Earth. And 8D Gaia Earth is true Earth. So it's not going up to 11D. Because Ashiana taught us uh, the AI or the dark force, they are able to go with us up to 11D. So, oh, no, I feel no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And Alexander Laura, he's German, he says the same. It's 7D. 7D is the border. He says the same, in which this game uh, continues. The quantum laws, by the way, quantum, is also just going up to 7D, he says. And this makes totally sense to me. Yeah. At the moment, yes, because I saw the same in the fourth dimension, because I got this question oh, shit, how far is the way? And then I saw a number eight. Ah, okay. So when we jump up to 8D, uh, we go back to Gaia Earth, Garden Eden. Okay, I understand. <laughs> so, and what's so good is you can, you can embody Christ in every dimension. And I believe that's the reason why we are here. You can embody Christ everywhere. And this is the master challenge, I see. You can anchor Christ in 3D. You can anchor Christ in 4D and 5D and 6D and in 7D. You can embody Christ in all dimensions. When you find peace with all these dimensions, I also talk about 3D or below, you are ready to go back. So, and when I see it from this perspective, I really just see it's a video game. It's, in my opinion, a video game, like you play The Legend of Zelda. Because when you see it more as a video game, you laugh more. You don't take it so seriously anymore. And this happened to me. I was just laughing. <sighs> Suddenly, like, it's really a video game. Very tricky. Just to find a way back home to Gaia Earth and Garden Eden. Mm -hmm. 
That's interesting. Okay, that's what I saw, but I don't know if it's true. Okay, always pick up what resonates with your heart. So this is just my consciousness level from now on, but maybe it will change. So, and I just know our master challenge is to embody Christ in all dimensions in which we have a quantum body. It, it, it will not make you happy to work with these entities here. Slowly you will find yourself in a prison or in a cage too. Many of you feel it now. And here over there, you have the bloodline from Christos. And this is actually us, Starseeds. You are not from here, you are from here. Actually, we are all from here. You know what I'm talking about? So, and when you reconnect back to Christos, slowly you are anchoring the divine codes in your just embodied Christ, even in 3D. And this is the most high vibrational consciousness we can embody here. Here is not more. So the most high vibrational consciousness you can embody here is Christ or Christos, so to speak. Here, here is not more. So and I believe the biggest challenge is to embody Christos in all dimensions. So and I believe your soul takes the lead anyway, and your soul already decided. And when your soul is ready, your soul does the right thing always. So... Thank you so, so much. We are our own heroes and angels. Yes, we all have the power to do so. So in this savior and victim program, also part of this phantom collapses. That's why so many spiritual people and starseed are so disappointed in their teachers and their gurus because they slowly see hmm, they were mistaken. I think I will go offline very soon. I think I'm already online two hours. I don't know because it's already midnight. And to be honest, I'm a little bit tired. Hi, Christine. Much love to you. Yeah, hopefully they allow me to add my website. Then it's easier for you. You just uh, take a click. So and that was uh, the settings before. You know, when you know me from my previous YouTube channel, a uh, YouTube TikTok channel, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so much happened already with me on social media. But on TikTok, you know that I was able to pin my comments. Uh, I also were able to add uh, my website and so on. So let's see. Thank you so, so much. You're so awesome, guys. Yeah, but I think I do look a little bit tired. My eye is a little bit red here, you know. I think I'm detoxing strong. Okay, I hope so much it helps you. Thank you so, so much, guys. You're so, so awesome. So I think I will go offline now. So I'm so happy that I can go live here on TikTok again. Wow, so many people liked this stream. Wow, it was very deep shit, right? Yeah, just uh, intuitively, I talked about the phantom now, right? Maybe it helps you. Maybe it resonates with you. Please keep in your mind, we are all in this together. I don't know if I know truth, if I'm accurate 100%. We are all in this together. So take care, guys. You're so awesome. I'm so happy to talk to you. See you soon.